Happy 4th of July, SolidWorks users. Welcome to the final part of our series where we are celebrating the holiday by hacking a model rocket kit with our own 3D printed plastic components. The SolidWorks design is complete, so to wrap up the series, let's export these parts for printing and get this beauty flight worthy. We have our three parts in a multi-body part file, and we need to export individual parts as STL files for printing. When I have a simple multi-body part, I'll just use the Delete Bodies feature to delete the bodies I don't want included in the STL. This is done by simply selecting the bodies under the Solid Bodies folder in the History tree and hitting the Delete key on the keyboard. This brings up the Delete slash Keep Body feature and simply hit the green check mark and the parts are deleted. Now I can do a Save As and in the File Type dropdown select Stereolithography or STL And keep in mind you can adjust your STL export settings by selecting this Options button. Here you can adjust the STL output type and STL resolution settings. Now the nice thing about the Delete slash Keep Bodies tool is it's a feature that lies in the History tree. So to save an STL of a different part, I'll just right click on the feature in the History tree to edit it, and we'll change which parts get deleted. So I'll just save this part as an STL as well. And we're ready to head to the printer. Let's do it. Hey y'all, I've got my completed rocket here after uh, 3D printing these parts. And uh, to put it all together, really just followed the exact directions that were included with the kit. Um, and then just kind of made it our own by spray painting it. I spray painted it kind of an aluminum with just off the shelf spray paint that you get from Home Depot. And then these custom decals, this is kind of a cool tip to make, you know, 3D printed parts your own. You can buy uh, what are called water slide decals if you've ever built a model rocket or a model car growing up. Um, you'll be familiar with these. but. I'll probably go into a little more in-depth tutorials on future tutorials, um, but it's really cool. You can just load the uh, water slide decals into your inkjet printer, or if you have a laser jet printer, then uh, those kind of decal sheets are available as well. But I kind of stuck with the retro look here, so I went for like a faded um, kind of typewriter text, um, and then also on the back, same thing, and then a little faded flag. So really happy with the look of it, something I'm proud I can kind of put on my shelf. Um, instead of you know the bright orange colors that that it did come with before that so yeah it's a beautiful day today got my son in tow we're gonna uh, go launch so let's go check it out let's do this boom okay. all right good day to launch a rocket today buddy right let's run through our checklist okay what? low cloud cover check good temperature check low winds check high visibility check all right you ready to launch yes Let's light this candle. Fist bump. Boom. Let's go do it now. <laughs> Three, two, one. Blast off. Okay guys, back at the home base here. Uh, really successful launch as you can tell. We launched this thing a few more times. We really made a day of it. Um, kid had a blast, which is the most important part. The rocket's still intact, which is great. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot in this tutorial. Uh, it's really a fun way to use SolidWorks and 3D printing uh, to make these model rocket kits your own. So I'm Eric Haddad on behalf of SolidWorks saying happy 4th of July and go represent the USA in a fun and safe way this weekend. USA! USA! USA!